fractions as studied in class 2 fractions is a part of a whole half an apple or a circle or a paper strip can be cut in the middle to divide it into two equal parts when something is divided into two equal parts each part is called a half it is written as 1 by 2 and read as 1 by 2 let us shade half of the following figures shade half of this triangle shade half of this square shade half of this circle quarter a circle or a paper or an apple can also be divided into four equal parts each part of the four parts is called a quarter it is written as 1 by 4 and read as 1 by 4 let us shade the quarter part of the following figures shade quarter part of this square shade quarter part of this rectangle shade quarter part of this circle two fourth when two parts of the four parts are taken it is called as two fourth it is written as two by four and read as two by four let us shade two fourths of the following figures Shade two of the four parts of this square. Shade two of the four parts of this triangle. Shade two of the four parts of this rectangle. Three fold. When three parts of the four parts are taken, it is called three fold. It is written as three by four and read as 3 by 4. Let us shade the 3 fourths of the following figures. Shade 3 of the 4 parts of this square. Shade 3 of the 4 parts of this rectangle. Shade 3 of the 4 part of this circle. 1 eighth. A paper can be divided into eight parts like this. When one part of the eight parts are shaded, it is called one eighth. It is written as one by eight and read as one by eight. When two parts are taken, it is two by eight or two by eight. When three parts are taken, it is called 3 by 8 or 3 by 8. Other fractions. We have already read about halves, quarter, fourths and eighths. There are also other fractions called 1 by 3 or 1 by 3. When one part of the three parts is shaded, it is called one third. One by five or one by five. When one part of the five parts is shaded, it is called one fifth. One by six or one by six. When one part of the six parts is shaded, it is called one sixth. Two by three or two by three. When two parts of the three parts are shaded, it is called two third. Two by five or two by five. When two parts of the five parts are shaded, it is called two fifth. Two by six or two by six. When two parts of the six parts are shaded, it is called two sixth. Look at the following diagrams and write down the fraction. In this diagram, one part of the four parts is shaded. So, it is 1 by 4. 
In this diagram, two parts of the eight parts are shaded. So, it is 2 by 8. In this diagram, four parts of the eight parts are shaded. So, it is 4 by 8. In this diagram, five parts of the eight parts are shaded. So, it is 5 by 8. Here, three parts of the six parts are shaded. So, it is 3 by 6. Shade the parts of the diagram to represent the given fractions. 5 by 10 is the fraction. So, let us color five parts of the ten parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6 by 8 is the fraction. So, let us color six parts of the eight parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7 by 9 is the fraction. So, let us color 7 parts of the 9 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3 by 6 is the fraction. So, let us color 3 parts of the 6 parts. 1, 2, 3. 4 by 8 is the fraction. So, let us color 4 parts of the 8 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4. Comparison of fractions. Let us find out which fraction is greater from the given figures. The given fraction is 1 by 4 and 2 by 4. Here, both the denominators are the same. So, compare the numerator. There is 1 in the first number and 2 in the second number, which is greater. 2 is the greater number. Therefore, 1 by 4 is smaller than 2 by 4. In this given fraction, 2 by 4 and 3 by 4, 3 is greater. So, 2 by 4 is smaller than 3 by 4. In this fraction, 3 by 4 and 4 by 4, 4 is greater. So, 3 by 4 is smaller than 4 by 4. When the denominator is the same, the higher the numerator, the greater is the fraction. Let us try some examples. Compare the fractions and write the smaller than or greater than sign. The given fractions are 3 by 9 and 8 by 9. The denominators are the same. So, compare the numerators. 8 is greater than 3. So, 3 by 9 is smaller than 8 by 9. Here, the fractions are 7 by 8 and 3 by 8. The denominators are the same. So, compare the numerators. 7 is greater than 3. So, 7 by 8 is greater than 3 by 8. In the same way, in these fractions, 9 by 12 and 8 by 12, 9 by 12 is greater than 8 by 12. In the fractions 6 by 7 and 4 by 7, 6 by 7 is greater than 4 by 7. And in these fractions, 2 by 5 and 4 by 5, 2 by 5 is smaller than 4 by 5. 
Arrange the following fractions in ascending order. The given fractions are 3 by 11, 2 by 11, 5 by 11, 1 by 11, 8 by 11 and 4 by 11. Now let us arrange them in ascending order, that is, from smaller number to greater number. As the denominators in all the fractions are the same, let us compare the numerator alone. The smallest number found is 1, so 1 by 11 is the smallest fraction. Next comes 2 by 11, next 3 by 11, then comes 4 by 11, 5 by 11, and finally 8 by 11. Arrange the following fractions in descending order. The given fractions are 4 by 7, 1 by 7, 6 by 7, 3 by 7, 2 by 7, and 5 by 7. Let us now arrange them in descending order, that is, from the greater number to the smaller number. As the denominators in all the fractions are the same, let us compare the numerator alone. The greatest number is 6, so 6 by 7 is the greatest fraction among the given fractions. Now find the next smaller fraction, it is 5 by 7. Then comes 4 by 7, then 3 by 7, next is 2 by 7 and finally 1 by 7. Addition of fractions with same denominator. This strip is divided into 8 equal parts. Two parts or 2 by 8 is shaded in red. Three parts or 3 by 8 is shaded in blue. To find out the total shaded parts, add 2 by 8 plus 3 by 8 which is equal to 5 by 8. When the denominators are the same, we can add both the fractions by adding the numerators alone. Let us try some examples. Sum 1. Add 3 by 8 plus 1 by 8 plus 2 by 8. The denominators are the same 8. So, add the numerators which is 3 plus 1 plus 2 which is equal to 6. So, the answer is 6 by 8. Sum 2. Add 4 by 10 plus 2 by 10 plus 3 by 10. The denominators are the same number 10. On adding the numerator, that is 4 plus 2 plus 3, we get 9. So, the answer is 9 by 10. Sum 3. Add 2 by 6 plus 1 by 6 plus 3 by 6. As the denominators are the same number 6, let us add the numerators 2 plus 1 plus 3. We get 6. So, the answer is 6 by 6. Subtraction of fractions with the same denominator. This strip contains 7 parts, that is 7 by 7. Remove 2 parts from the strip. To do that, we will have to deduct 2 parts from 7 parts. Subtract 2 by 7 from 7 by 7. As the denominators are the same, deduct the numerator 7 minus 2, which is equal to 5. So, the answer is 5 by 7. Let us try some examples. Sum 1. Subtract 2 by 6 from 5 by 6. The denominators are the same. Deduct the numerator. 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So, the answer is 3 by 6. Sum 2. Subtract 1 by 10 from 9 by 10. The denominators are the same. So, deduct the numerators, that is, 
9 minus 1 which is equal to 8. So the answer is 8 by 10.